A recent survey shows moms earned 31% less in wages than dads last year. As Julia Vargas Jones tells us, the so-called motherhood tax adds up. It's called motherhood tax. In 2023, mothers earned about 31% less in wages than fathers, a bank rate analysis of Census Bureau data shows. Why the gap? Experts say it reflects women taking time out of the workforce to raise children or reducing their hours even taking lower paying jobs to get more flexible schedules. Those lost wages can add up to half a million dollars throughout a 30 year career. They talk about needing to pass up promotions or higher paying jobs because maybe they're viewed as less competent or committed by their coworkers because they're moms. The gender pay gap has largely stayed flat over more than two decades, a disparity that some believe a female presidential candidate could help bring attention to. Vice President Harris is a stepmother to her husband's two children. I am not here to replace your mother. Yes. You have that one mother. And I'm the second mother. <laughs> Mamala. Right, Mamala. Harris has been vocal about closing the gender pay gap, saying it's not just a moral issue, it's also a business one. An economy that works for women works for everyone. But no word yet on how her campaign might address it. You have to have the right policies in place to try to reduce this motherhood penalty. In 2019, another woman played a pivotal role in getting paid family leave for federal employees approved by Congress then first daughter, Ivanka Trump. Julia Vargas-Jones, Los Angeles.